Putin's war machine stop funding going to him. And it does require toughness to stand up to him. And it is going to require all of us to go through some difficult times. And I want to be honest with you about that. Part of us standing up to Putin is all of us as a country recognising what that's going to do to our energy bills and having the resolve to get through that, supporting people as we go. Because ultimately, that's what our values are about. It's about protecting those countries that are being attacked. It's about standing up for freedom. And as we have done brilliantly, and I know many Sun readers have done, opened up their families, their hearts, their communities to refugees from Ukraine, there's lots of different ways we can stand up to him. And I'm sure we'll keep doing all of them. We certainly will under my leadership. Ms. Truss, it's a difficult question though, isn't it? Because the UK government has said it will stand with Ukraine until the end. How do you keep people on side? How do you keep people with you when they are suffering and things are likely to get worse? The cost of not doing anything to stand up to Vladimir Putin is immense. If he succeeds in Ukraine, he's not going to stop there. He's going to challenge the freedom and democracy. Oh my God.